Hello everyone. In our last part, we have uh, discussed about the state diagram and a state table. Now in this part, we will be designing a sequential circuit for the given state diagram. So let uh, this is our question. So we'll say this is the given state diagram and we need to design a sequential circuit for this state diagram. So at first, we need to define the state table based on this state diagram. So we have already uh, discussed on how we can generate a state table based on the given state diagram. So let's do that accordingly. So here we can see that uh, there are two bits. The, uh, the state is defined by two bits. So let that be A and B. So here we can see that the present state is zero and zero. And here only one bit is here given here, which means this is our basically our input and output is not defined. So when x equal to zero, the, the state changes from zero zero to zero zero. Zero zero to back to zero zero. So for x equal to zero, the input the position state changes from zero zero to zero zero. And when the input x is one, the state changes from zero zero to zero one. So when x equal to one, the change it changes from zero zero to zero one. So likewise for uh, let's define another state. So zero one. So for zero one, when the uh, input x equal to zero, it changes from zero one to one zero. So when x equal to zero, it changes from zero one to one zero. And when the input x is one, it changes state from zero one to zero one. So there is no change in state. So for uh, <coughs> so now next uh, let's take a next state. So it's basically one zero. So for one zero, when the input x equal to one, it changes the state from one zero to one zero. And when the state, sorry, when the input x equal to one, it changes the state from one zero to one one. So from one zero, it changes the state to one one. And for the last one, one one, for the input x equal to zero it changes the state from one one to one one so for x equal to zero it changes from one to one one to one one and when the input x equal to one it changes the state from one one to zero zero so from it changes the state from one one to zero zero that's how we can easily generate the state table out of the even state diagram so now let's uh, write this in a single, uh, let's write these inputs in the single line. So I'll just uh, rewrite this. Uh, if you rewrite this, then it will be like this. So it is simply so for x equal to zero, it changes state from zero zero to zero zero, zero zero to zero zero for x equal to zero, and for x equal to one, from zero zero to zero one, for x equal to one, for x equal to one, from zero zero to Zero one. Okay, so that's how we can uh, generate this. The this the table can be transformed to this form, and it will be a lot easier to analyze the table using this one, especially when we are designing our excitation table. When we are de defining the excitation table, so in order to define the excitation table, what we need to next is uh, the flip flop. The excitation table of flip flop also. Here we are using a JK flip flop. To design the sequence circuit, I'm going to do this part. So, uh, so what we need next is if you have the uh, exactly set a table of JK flip flop beforehand, then it will be a lot easier for us to come to this table. So, uh, let's put this one here. So, now let's do this. So, let's see here the uh, it is defined by two bits a and b so for each individual bits we need to have a jk flip flop so for a we need to have a jk flip flop and its input is defined by j and k and likewise for b we need another flip flop and the inputs to that flip flop is defined by jv and kb so in order for b to change from like the present state of a is zero and it changes from zero to next state is zero so in order to change uh, so it means there is no change in state from zero to zero so if you see here for zero to zero the j value for jk should be zero x so let's put it here zero x so likewise for b it is also zero to zero 
So there is no change in state. So that's why it will be zero and x here. So now next one for the second, uh, it's in the state from zero to zero. Again, no change in state from zero to zero. So it is again zero x. And for b, uh, there is change in state from zero to one. So for zero to one, so it means that this is second case. So for zero to one, it should be one x. One. X. So likewise uh, for the third from 0 to 1 so as in the previous case so 0 to 1 it should be 1x and for 1 to 0 so it's the third case here so for 1 to 0 it should be x1 means uh, x don't get 1 so likewise for fourth case I uh, will go up to fourth so for 0 to 0 it will be again 0 to 0, no change state with 0, so 0x. Zero and for 1 to 1, which ask for the fourth case here, it's 1 to 1, no change state from 1 to 1, so it is x and 0. x and 0. So likewise, uh, we can fill all this table by making by making use of this excitation table. So that's why it will be a lot easier to fill up this excitation table if we have the excitation table for JK for beforehand. I will just fill this up. So now this is our excitation table. So based on this excitation table, we need to define the inputs for J A K A. So that's why we need to solve for all these four. So in order to solve for all these four based on these, we need to so we can make use of this flip flop. Sorry, uh, we can make use of K map. So let's uh, define the K map for J. A. So here we can see that the value is for 0, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the inputs are A, B, and X. So let's define a K map for this one. Okay, so if you see the K map, it will be like this. So let's fill this one. It means it, this it is already filled here. So I will show how it is done. So this one is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So in the case of K map, so this is a pattern like a here and bx here so it is like 0 0, zero it's 0 1 2 and 3 4 5 6 and 7 so if you feel it like this so it will be 0 0 1 0 so 0 0 1 here and 0 and for the all for the 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 and 7 so we need to solve for 1 here so to solve for one, we can take these two as common. So that it gives us this one zero, which is uh one zero, which is basically b and x bar. So the solution for j is b x bar. So likewise, let's do the similar for k a. So again for k a, uh, zero one to the all x, zero one two three. And four, five, six, seven, only seven is one here. So four, zero, five, zero, six, zero, and seven here. So if you solve for this one, so it will be one, one here, which is basically BX. So this also is BX. So likewise for JV. So if you see the JV, so again, zero, one, two, three. So sorry, zero, one, two, three. So zero, one here, X, two, three. Again, 4, 0, 5, 1, 6, 7, x, x, 6, and 7. So if we have to solve for this 1, so we can just take this 4 as common. So the common between these two will be, uh, so if it's here, 0, 1, it will be 1, 1. So the common is this 1, which is basically x. So that's why this also for this one is x. And lastly, for kv, in the similar way, we can get this one. So this and this will give us, uh, so this will be, uh, this will be A bar, and this is A, and uh, this is basically B complement, X complement, B complement, X, B, X, and this is basically B, X complement, one zero. So this, uh, so for this one will be this and this, if you take this and this two as common, so the common one will be A complement and X complement, Plus the next one is a for this to a and common between these two is x. So a common x common plus a x. So we see basically the x not gate of a and x. 
So now let's uh, draw a logical diagram based on this game app. So we have already got the input. We already def we have already defined the inputs for J A, J uh, K, J V, and K B. So as I mentioned earlier, we have to make use of two J K flip flop. So input as the first one J and K. So let that be flip flop A. So J A, K A. And the output of this one will be this will be a and this will be a complement so likewise we need another flip-flop for b which basically we this is will be jv and this will be kv and the output from this will be b and this will be b complement and uh, we also have another parameter which is x X parameter which is basically the our input x and uh, let's take a complement of this one also so this one will be straight up there this one will be x complement now let's see for j uh, the, the input for j is b x complement so this is basically and get and get so and b and next one is x complement let's take the x complement from here and for b uh, the b will opt in can opt in from here so let's draw a line like this here and uh, okay so this one so for j it will be b and x complement so this is b this is x complement so like us for k a it is p x so we again we need to have and get here and the further and get the input is one of them is b another is x so let's write from here so this is b and this is x so the input is bx here now for next one jb it is simply x so we can simply draw all we can simply connect this one from here to here and for kb it is x nor get so let's try x not get here And for the external the inputs are x and a. So we'll drag the a from there. Uh, okay, what we could do is we can draw x from here. And for a, let's get it from here. Okay, so this will be a x not with x, so, and this will be x. So this is our final sequence circuit. So uh, this is the final sequence circuit that uh, is designed for the given street diagram. This. So and uh, uh, within this one, this is our input. This x is our input, and this is this will be our this section will be our combination circuit, and these are our two flip flops to fulfill our requirement. So that's how we can design a sequences circuit for the given state diagram. I hope this will be helpful for you in solving the question in your exams. Thank you.